is Outlast Part 2. Let's get into it. And we're loading. I somehow still have my camera. They didn't take that from me. All right. Um, to hide. Father Martin Sale. The priest Father Martin brought me here to show me something. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This doc this Dr. Wernick is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Yeah, that it does. That it does. Ooh, hello. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Exactly about something. What'd you do, dude? He shouldn't hurt you. That's what he said. Then the cat's away. Guess he's the mouse. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be impolite. Not here. We give him a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. I want his tongue. And liver. They are yours. So this is Mr. Went and Mr. Kid. Parodies from James Bond's Diamonds of Forever. Oh, hello, fellas. Let me put some pants on. All right. Hey. Escape. They're in my blood if they want to get out. Heal. Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. Please They've see. always been here. Ouch. 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 Oh, 
go back there. That's a bit much. Jesus Christ. I'm sick. <clears throat> you. Oh, I. Uh... I don't think I'm the one you're looking for, buddy. Kids still here? No, but they left. Uh, I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I say so for you. Mm, just wait. Mm, no, I'm good. Don't need that. God always provides a way to follow the blood. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll do that. Running down the train, never will come to me. Working on a history. Hey, Father Martin, finger painter. All right, Helen, Doctor Zickner gave me your info to contact regarding the cancellation of the arts program. My patient, Martin Archibald. Has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Just in the week since canceling the arts program, his schizoaffective assertions of some higher calling have accelerated enormously. Please just let the man finger paint. A few dollars you're saying, a few dollars you're saying on temper paint, is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. I can't imagine the logic at play here, unless Murkoff wants our patients to become more disengaged from reality. Please advise Dr. Neil Wolfram. Alright, right. going down. Take it easy. See that invisible thing, so must be what he's talking about. Right? Right, buddy? Just shut up! Let me think for a minute! Quiet! I didn't say anything. Quiet! I like you to stay quiet. 
Will this guy come after me? No? I'll just make sure I stay quiet. How about that? Mm -hmm. Adios. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he's not chasing me. Oh man. Suck. Try some size, jackass. Balls of blood. Ah. Oh, now you're going to attack me too, huh, fucker? I'm ready for you, fellas. Come on. Of batteries right now. That's good. More documents. Purge gate maintenance memo. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Well Rider security. Please refer to Murkoff maintenance manual, whatever, or seek guidance for my supervisor with the proper security. Guess you don't know, get the. Proper security clearance, do you? Alright, I'm out of here. So I think this is where I stopped my initial game. And so now I'm in uncharted waters. Don't know what's going to happen. I'm scared. That's the sh is that the showers? What's happening, fellas?
Yeah, I'm gonna leave that up. Yeah, I don't like it either, buddy. Makes it do show. Oh, great. That those naked twins are in here. Taking showers. Is it rain outside? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, sure did. Alright, well I guess we're going through here. Shit, I don't know if that was a battery or not. I'll be back. Shit. Close it, close it! Oh god, there's fire. Oh jeez. This for my documentary. Yeah. Oh no. Hey. Where'd the lights go? Where did the lights go? No, 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 no. Go to the bed, Demi.
Oh shit, he's coming. Oh shit. You hear me? Oh fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Come on, man! Ah. Go 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 go! I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running, running for my life. Batteries quick, I hit six. Shit. there or whatever. Cracks in the wall. Anything. That's where I came in, right? Anybody, can you help me, please? Okay. Oh, I'm not scratching. Okay, boss, I'm running through some batteries. I 
go any further? No. Nope. Oh, that was for nothing. Oh, hold up. Oh, hey, buddy. You just, you just stay under there. Okay, notes. I got a couple notes. Necromantic. Fuck this place. Seriously, just fuck this place. Dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here. Agreed. Total security. I can't make Chris. Can't shake Chris Walker. A big ugly fucker who likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocols, containment. What if it's. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? We'll find out, won't we? Dr. Wernick's obituary. Dr. Rudolph G. Wernick, age 90, passed away doing the work he loved on February 28, 2009. He was born in 1918 in Munich, Germany, and achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for the paper written with early computing pioneer Alan Turing. That's what that guy was talking about downstairs, cracking the codes. After a cloudy history with the German war effort, he immigrated to the United States in 1949 with a visa from the State Department. Several decades of government research on Los Alamos led to New Mexico, where Dr. Wernick retired to pursue landscape photography and care for his cats. He came to Colorado shortly after the turn of the millennium to pursue charitable work for the Murkoff Corporation. A statement from the company calls Dr. Wernick a true humanitarian with a generous spirit. He leaves no survivors. Well, this place went to shit when he died, didn't it? I can go up there. Let me check here first. No, nope, that's locked. And this is probably locked. And, yep. Yeah. Oh, I see something twinkling. Battery, come here. Hey, bud. Didn't see you there. Alright. Nothing in here. Everybody! Go! Everybody! Fuck! Really, dude? When is it? When? You when? I knew that was gonna happen. Keep moving, keep moving. Straight, motherfucker, straight. Hey, bud, I'll come hang out with you. Hey. Sorry, I'm a bite. Hey, there's another drain. Anything twinkling around here? Battery, maybe? Twinkle, twinkle, yes. Down the train. Oh. 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 What shit? Which way? All right, we're going the light first. Wall rider, wall rider, wall rider. The word wall rider is all over this place. Murkoff is running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. But the patients talk about the wall rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon, something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to a schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe. Maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is just getting to me. I don't know. Either way is hell, I guess. <laughs> Anybody walking around here? Causing a ruckus? No, I don't want to go down there either. Oh, hey. I'll come back.
using my trusty Duracells. Oh, I hear a seance. No? Okay. Awesome. Crawling through a sewer. To hey, what's this? All right, there we go. Now we're crawling through a sewer tunnel. Oh, oh, hey, that dude was floating. Okay, all right. There's a crack I can go through if I want to. Yikes. Well, sure, we'll read this in a sewer with a floating dude. That's what's sand. Found scrawled in pencil in the back of a minutes form. Handwriting matches samples from the patient father, Martin Archibald. This god is real, but we've mistaken so long for ghosts, spirits, madness, we were only willing, full, willfully ignorant. The scales in Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider, the gospel of sand. The greatest sin in the world is willful ignorance of God. To receive a revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. The, this place. Stand in the way of salvation is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. This might be a little too great. Is it the way? Maybe? Okay, yeah, all right, yeah, let's go one guy. This is a floating dude, man. Flush the water by turning two valves. No junction. Let's try this way for good. Oh shoot. Yeah, hi. I hear you. Fuck, man. Come on, fat boy. Oh, I can't even. That's water. Shit, I can't go down there. Yeah. No, can't go there either. And... Yeah. This way? Shit! Shit! Can I hide? Oh god, he saw me. Oh god. Oh god. Gotta get away from this guy. Come on. Piss off, boy. You can't follow me in here. Can I even crawl under here? Nope. Alright, so that's just straight up water. So I'm not fucking going in there. At least not yet.
man. Sit somewhere I can hide. That's good to know. I actually wanted to go that way, buddy. He just ripped my damn head off. Batteries, veterans. That's the way I came. Hey, look at him, agile fucker. Ugh, keep going the way I want to go. He's hiding this little hidey hole. Run! Not running fast enough. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Ah, oh, come on! Ah! Got my way! Fuck! God damn it, this dude's too fucking big, man. Body blocking my engine. Guess that worked, huh? <laughs> yep, I'll head down there now, thank you. I guess. Sorry to everybody, that's it for me. It's Joey C from Superhouse. So stay tuned for part three of Outlast.
Have a good one.